Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I once snuck into a party at the Brimsleys. Very strange it was, too. Now we've done away with a woman, and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style, and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo, but I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. Emily's hiding again. It started as a game, but it's turned into her way of teasing me. 
If you see her, will you send her back to me? It's time for her studies. sound. I'm hiding from Callista. It's a game we like to play. I remember playing hide and seek with you too. I don't know why it's so much fun to hide from her. Here. This was at the edge of the river in the mud. I put it under my pillow for good luck, but it gave me bad dreams. You can have it as a present. I suppose I'll do my lessons now. Hiding gets boring after a while anyway. I trust you in... Enjoy the boils. Ah, Waverly. She's a sad story. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. Ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. <laughs> 